There's 3D printing, electronics, lasers, picture corner, and other stuff too. Hey everyone, welcome back to Greg's Maker Corner. Uh, today I am going to be working on my Hypercube Evo build. So this is something that uh, I've been wanting to do for a while. I recently sold my Prusa Mark III and uh, just wanted to kind of upgrade to something a little more interesting. So this is going to be a multi-part video where I cover um, a lot of the steps, maybe not all of them, but at least my preparation for the Evo, as well as uh, printing the parts and then going in to, to build it, uh, as well as the electronics. Here's my Ender 3 printing some parts for the Hypercube Evo, or Evolution. As you can see, it's a fairly high temp PET G, but you want PET G and you want it about anywhere from 30 to 50 percent infill so it's strong enough for the printer and that's based on the, the thingiverse page there's the, the actual filament that i'm using hd red glass um, this is the last of some of the maker series uh, filament i i like this filament pretty well um, i hope i have enough of it i think i will and over here i've got the cr10s uh, also printing so this is a, a gray pet g um, this is from inland so it's a, fairly, a little more recent. One of the things I did have to do before I started printing this pet G was I had to put it in my little e-box uh, dehumidifier over here. And that allowed me to dry it because I was having some problems printing it. The quality just wasn't really good. So this is just the beginning stages. I just got my order in and I'm looking forward to printing this. But um, a, lot of these, <clears throat> a lot of these prints are gonna take probably 10 plus hours, uh, depending on what I'm printing, because I am going fairly slow, about 60 millimeters per second. But that's because I just want it, you know, these parts to turn out as good as possible and uh, hopefully last a long time. And you might have noticed with the colors, I've got uh, gray and I've also got the red. That happens to be, uh, or scarlet as they call it in, in the Buckeye land. So scarlet and gray. And uh, I think I'm going to name my printer Buckeye once I get it, so we'll see. And here's how I'm dividing up the batches for the parts. So as you can see, I've got batch one, batch two, kind of have an interesting naming convention here. I could have done probably bigger batches, but um, just, just to help uh, mitigate risk of a print failure, I decided to break them up into smaller batches. So I've got, right now I've got the first batch done and I'm on the second batch. This is being printed in red. This is um, the first batch, which is being printed on the CR10. So both of these will be on the CR10, and then these will be kind of mixed. So with any luck, I'll have them done in about two to three days. This is the spreadsheet from the Thingiverse page for the Hypercube Evo. And this is basically, you type in, you go into the configuration tab, and you're gonna type in what your cube size is. So you can see I've got a 300 by 300 by 400 Z. I've also got um, dual Z, or double Z as they call it here. So, and then once you fill all that in, you go into the print list. And it's really nice, it tells you exactly what you need to print. And then from there, I created my, my file matches. So, it's quite a bit of printing. It, it looks like it's not that much, but um, in terms of the total time, it's pretty significant. So right now I am printing using OctoPrint for both printers, um, so I've got it configured. You can see the heat graph. This one's been going for maybe an hour and a half. So I, I just upload, I slice it with Simplify 3D. I'll show you real quick. So this is an example of one of the batches that I'm doing. <clears throat> and then I slice it with Simplify 3D and then I upload it using the, the upload button here. And then once it uploads, I just click the little print icon and then it starts printing. So I have that for the CR10S and I also have it set up for the Ender 3. I do color code them as you can see up here so that way I can keep track of which one's which. Alright, that's about it for now. Um, after this stuff prints, I'm going to hopefully get all these print jobs done uh, by the end of the weekend here. And I do plan on posting additional videos as the progress continues, so stay tuned. Thanks a lot for watching.